hello friends i hope you are doing good uh, through these videos we talk about tenses today we are going to talk about past continuous tense in last video we talked about simple past tense uh, i hope you are getting the points i am describing you uh, today we are going to talk about past continuous tense first of all we just discuss its uses where to use past continuous tense the past continuous tense is used to describe actions that begin in the past and often continued for a short period of time after the action started. This tense describes actions or events that happened at a specific time in the past. These actions are usually no longer happening at the time the sentence is being said. Uh, first of all, to make a positive sentence, we need these kind of uh, structures and helping verbs. First of all, we use subject plus was or were plus first form verb plus in plus object. Was we use with any singular subject except second person singular you. We don't use you with was. Uh, with any other singular subject, we use was in the past continuous tense. Were we use with plural subjects and with second person singular you. To make a positive sentence, uh, this was a kind of structure and uh, helping verbs that were needed. Now we have examples. I wasn't sleeping when you got home last night. Here I wasn't sleeping is a past continuous tense. Here other when you got home last uh, late last night. This is a kind of sentence structure we need to make a past simple a uh, past continuous tense. So in second example same they were not sleeping when I got home late last night. So, they is a plural, so that's why was is a helping verb, plus not, plus first form verb, plus in. To make negative sentence, we use subject plus was or verb, plus not, plus first form verb, plus in, plus object. He wasn't waiting at home when she sent home the message. Here you can check it. We use past continuous tense uh, simply with a kind of clause that is in the past simple tense. So in first part, in first clause, here he wasn't waiting at home. He is singular, so that's why we use was plus not plus first form verb plus in. Here uh, next stage is to make interrogative sentences in the past continuous. Or uh, we know we have two kinds of interrogatives: positive interrogative and negative interrogative. First of all, we will talk about positive interrogative. For to make positive interrogative, we use was or were plus subject plus first form verb plus ink plus object for example were you doing something when i called you what is plural uh, uh plural helping verb and we used it with you so that's why after that first form verb plus ing plus object to make a negative interrogator uh, you, you need same kind of structure but uh, you have to use not after subject were or was as a helping verb plus subject plus not plus first form verb plus ink plus object plus question mark what we used according to the subject because second person singular do we use with were in past continuous so were do not first form verb plus ink plus object 